At the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to a man, whose name is Pharaoh Olivetti, who is a self-made billionaire. But this is not how he was born, he spent his childhood in Italy, very close to his father. As he grew up he went to United States and became super successful with his hard work. However, his father was worried if he was ever going to find true love, while he was surrounded by tons of women and wealth. Pharaoh is a very powerful man and he is known for being a womanizer by the whole world. One day, he was sitting along with his friend and gets a call from his mother back in Italy. It is revealed that his father was taking his last breaths, so he immediately takes a flight to Italy to see his father one last time. Upon meeting, they both get emotional and while his father struggled to speak, his father asked Pharaoh for his last wish. His father wanted him to go somewhere far from his business wealth and everything and live on his own, without any money for no less than a month as if he was homeless. Pharaoh tried to postpone the question, but, seeing his father dying he could not say no anymore and agree to his wish. Pharaoh's father passes away, while Pharaoh leaves his mother after expressing care and love. At his office, he tells his assistant secretary that he will leave for a month. Being a powerful billionaire, whose every hour can make a difference of millions, it was a hard decision for him to make. He changes his identity with his driver, who is called Claude, so that no one could identify him on his journey. We also come across an arrogant man, who gives tons of trouble to flight attendant. However, she could not resist the annoyance and teach him a lesson by slapping the potato three times as if it was a little child. Because earlier the man said the potato is bad, which makes everyone laugh. Pharaoh arrives in the city with a bag in his hand and gets a lift from the truck driver. Meanwhile, the same arrogant man from the airplane gets a cab, in which, a mysterious woman was present in the car. She sounded like the opposite of what the arrogant man is. Very polite. Pharaoh tries to apply for a job at the local shop, however. After looking at Pharaoh weirdly he denies giving any type of work. Pharaoh finally reaches a bar and starts devouring the food that was sitting there as snacks for the customers. Basically free food. Being a good-looking guy Pharaoh was approached by a woman sitting there, who ask him some questions about the place he was staying and the work he does. He nervously answer questions indirectly, which confuses and pisses off the women and she leaves on the spot. Suddenly, a woman, who looked desperate for good-looking men, sits beside him and gets to know he needed a place to live for the night. Then we can see him coming to an apartment, where Pharaoh along with Peter arrives and notices the same women we have seen earlier driving the car. Soon Peter comes out with revealing clothes and tries her best to persuade the Pharaoh to have some lovely moments. But, Pharaoh makes some excuses and they fall asleep. Since Peter's snoring could not let Pharaoh sleep, he walks outside and takes a closer look at Diane, which results in her waking up. She calls for Peter, who throws him out of the apartment right after, even though later it is revealed they both found Pharaoh good-looking. While Pharaoh was all alone on the streets, two thugs tries to rob him. However, he punches them and runs away and hides in a spot, which also turned out to be a disaster because the women called the cops on him. Upon leaving the location, cops takes him and puts him to a local jail cell. After he calls his assistant to buy a 50 million worth of shares, he is moved to a jail cell, where he finds a big criminal, who soon started to play with him, which results in both getting into a fight. Cops see this and takes the man out of the cell. This was too much for such a powerful man to handle. However, he recalls the promise he made to his father. Next morning, we can see Pharaoh waking up and asking if he can stay until breakfast. But, cops did not listen to a word he said and freeze him, since the thugs from last night were arrested and his story comes out to be true. Pharaoh's hunger was getting the best of him, and he decided to head into a local store and try to trade 50 cents and a pack of rubber for some food that he had. But this does not work out in his favor. The same mysterious women can be seen walking back to her house, while a creepy man is following her which makes her uncomfortable. She arrives back to home and shout for her mother while knocking on the door nervously. Upon entering the house she is finally relieved, where her mother asks her to meet a guy, who has been trying to go on a date with her, but she denies. It was clear something had happened in her life, due to which she was afraid of going on dates. It was the night time and Pharaoh sat on a bench, where he meets a crazy woman, who makes him leave. Next morning, after waking up and he goes out in the city to satisfy his hunger. However, Upon reaching a hot dog stall he asked the man to give him something for 50 cents, but the stall owner takes a close look at him and gives him a free hot dog. While Pharaoh was looking for a job in the newspaper, he is caught off guard and hit by a vehicle. There the guy hears his story and decide to help him out. He takes him to his boss's house, who was looking for a driver. He encounter the boss man and his wife fighting and he arrives further inside the house. The man asks him to sit and offers him $600 for driving and other duties. Meanwhile. His wife was looking at Pharaoh desperately. Suddenly, his spoiled daughter arrives and asks for $500, which he give away as if it was nothing. The arrogant man asks for his references and tell him to leave, but his wife hires him for the night as a bartender. At night, people were treating him badly with lots of disrespect, 
which was making things harder for him. He is also told to drop a drunk man to his house. Pharaoh also tells his assistant to give each of his company employees a $5,000 bonus, since he saw the news that they almost defeated a man in court who sued them for some mysterious reason. He comes back to his bedroom, where Mrs. Curtis was sitting. Suddenly, his drunk daughter arrives too, who try to use him for her pleasures. Not only this, but Mr. Curtis arrives in his room and asks him to sit beside him. When Mr. Curtis tries to do something weird to him, he refuses him saying he might have some disease. He tells the daughter to leave, then comes the wife with a smile on her face. Next morning, their dog also tries to do something incredible. Looks like the whole family is desperate. He arrives at his boss's office to help him out. Surprisingly finds the same women from the apartment. Everyone looked impressed by his charm. Later on, we can see some flowers at women's desk. Suddenly, she gets call from the boss to meet him at his house. Pharaoh looked at Diane surprisingly and the boss asked Pharaoh to drop her at the funeral. After she was done with meeting. Inside the car, Pharaoh was looking at Diane through the mirror and she scolds him for it. They finally reach the funeral of her relative. They both decide to drink some coffee together where the conversation did not go well at first. But, Pharaoh makes it right and suggests her to date someone, because she revealed to him that her husband David died nine years ago. Their conversation lasts for about two hours and they seem pretty interested into each other. She also reveals that she wanted to leave her workplace since a long time, because the boss is too bad. She even offers to help Pharaoh out by lending him some money, but he denied for obvious reasons. Before leaving her at her parents' house, both of them kiss each other while her parents watches her. They also decide to go on a date on upcoming Tuesday. Her parents are not happy to know that the man she is dating is just an ordinary driver. Next day, she goes on with the date with Pharaoh while she also works on her project, since Mr. Curtis gave away some extra projects. Few days pass by, we can see Mr. Curtis's daughter coming at the office, which results in Mr. Curtis calling him into his office and fire him while abusing him for doing something to his daughter, which he did not. Diane could not resist herself seeing Pharaoh getting insulted and says the inevitable F word, which shocks everyone. They leave from the hell office, where Diane asks him out to have dinner with her parents and he agrees. Upon hearing the truth from Pharaoh about today's incident, it makes them worry and they talk to her privately. They were concerned about Pharaoh not having a job and all, but little did they know he was a billionaire. At dinner, Pharaoh reveals he might leave for California soon which indeed makes her parents feel a little relieved. Later we can see them both eating ice cream. She calls her friend and reveals about the relationship between her and Pharaoh, which surprises her friend. Pharaoh leaves Mr. Curtis's house and says goodbye to his wife. Following day, Diane asks him out about opening a new agency of their own with the money she saved in past years, but only if Pharaoh becomes her partner. They talk about the business and Curtis suggests her a great plan about the agency, and they agree to it. It was evident that the love was in the air, while they were celebrating it all together. It looked as if Pharaoh and Diane's fantasy was coming true, as they were slowly falling deeply in love with each other. While they were going back, Pharaoh revealed to her that he never met anyone like her before. Finally, we can see them having romantic moments, but Diane was not feeling comfortable due to some reason. She tells him a story of the days when she was looking for the reason her husband went to eternal sleep and gets contacted by a person. There's something terrible happened with her. Soon the creepy guy achieved eternal sleep by overdosing on some substance. After Pharaoh comforts her, we are moved to the scene two weeks later, where their agency started generating tons of revenue and profits. While sitting in a park, Pharaoh suggests that he might be leaving soon, to which, she asked if they could open the agency in California instead. However, Pharaoh looked worried for her business here. He later gets a call from his assistant and get to know that if he does not show up in the court this time, the company will lose the control. While sitting and watching fighter planes, Diane expressed her love towards him. It was the court date and the judge gave them the deadline of Monday. So if Pharaoh does not reach the court on Monday, he will lose the control over company. We are moved to the scene, where Pharaoh's assistant was standing in front of the judge, but Pharaoh was nowhere to be seen. The opposite team was about to win the case. Suddenly, Pharaoh arrives and it takes about a second to confirm his identity, and they win the case. He comes back and meets Diane, but upon asking her where he was, he did not answer and kept it a secret. This resulted in her running away from the office followed by Pharaoh, but in the rush of emotions she could not be stopped. Pharaoh calls her parents' house back to back, since she dropped her phone in the mud earlier, but her mother did not let her know about any of the calls. Finally Diane comes in the office, but this time Pharaoh was not present and it seemed he went away for good. On the other hand, the guy who helped Pharaoh get a job reveals to Mr. Curtis that he gave him a check of $50,000 and he is a billionaire. Pharaoh tells his mother about Diane, to which, she asks him to go meet her at least once. Soon after Pharaoh explains the situation to her, but not about being a billionaire, they passionately kiss each other and have romantic moments for the whole night. Diane did not want him to leave and ask him to visit him in California, to which, Pharaoh asked her to come with him, 
which makes her dream come true. Pharaoh also suggests her to give away their company shares to the agents. Finally, we can see them leaving for California. However, the truth about Pharaoh being a billionaire is still a secret for her. They finally reach California, where real Claude, Pharaoh's driver comes to pick them up. Diane looked very confused and soon he reveals the truth to Diane that he is the Pharaoh Olivetti. This was really shocking for her to hear. They reach the big mansion of Pharaoh's and he shows her around, which excites her a bit. Diane tells him that she will be looking for a job, but billionaire Pharaoh had different plans. He expresses his love towards her since she made him her half business partner in everything she was left with. Now he will make her his partner in everything he has. We can see them both getting married in front of everyone. They lived a happy life ever after with love and passion. Let us know if you think this can be a true scenario or not in the comments below. Like and subscribe to watch more romance recaps like this.